Make sense? All right, so that's a, that's a, that's a very common start um, entry point of all React applications. We can uh, open it up with our favorite IDE. So let me bring up um, IntelliJ. And let's see what create React app created for us. Uh, okay. I think we can close all these. Okay, let's open. And let's see, where are we? Uh, web dev 2019 fall and this is the one we just created so let's open that up it's going to parse the project and it's going to make some sense of it out of it uh, let's just look at uh, just uh, the um what's in here so we're going to mostly spend our time inside of this source directory okay and here we have the index.js that i was telling you about uh, but there's also an index.html this index.html Right. This is what the browser sees. This is the very first page that the browser sees. Okay, and if you notice, there's not much there. Right, there's a link in some images, uh, some JSON file, and there's this div over here. Right, let me make that a little bigger for you. This div, uh, this div here, right, is the only content that ever makes it to the browser. Right, and uh, notice that it's it's empty. There's nothing in there. It says uh, div id equal root. Okay. And what the framework is going to do is says, ah, well, I need to fill that root dynamically. I need to go and fetch content uh, that to inject into this into this empty uh, root. And and the the entry point of uh, index.html in JavaScript, the entry point is index.js. Index.js. What it does is. Uh, loads uh, two libraries, the React library and the React DOM library. The React library allows you to uh, create com uh, components, right? High-level components that are going to be able to put them together, uh, you know, combine them to create more complex components and eventually entire applications. Uh, but that always have to be com converted back into some low-level JavaScript, into some low-level HTML. But you're not going to deal with that. Now, that's going to be the responsibility of React DOM, right? And like the name suggests, DOM, right? It's it's a uh, it's the mapping of whatever React high-level components in React to low-level DOM manipulation. Yes, right? and you're not going to be responsible for that. Uh, it loads uh, the index.css. Uh, it loads this app thing, right? This app imports this app here, which which we know it looks like it's an entry point, and then it uses it as if it were some HTML element. That we've never seen. You know, I've, I've seen H1, I've seen P, I've seen uh, a UL, I've seen all these different HTML elements. I've never seen app as an as an HTML element. And nevertheless, this is being treated as if it were a brand new HTML elements. Yes. All right. So what what React introduces you is is hey, uh, if you don't like HTML, you can rewrite it. Right? You can write your own HTML elements. Okay. Uh, if you think those are those are too simple, too low level. I can allow you to en uh, encapsulate them into higher level, more complex uh, behavior, right? Uh, that 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 uh, does whatever you want it to do, right? Uh, so in, indeed, app here is the top level most component, right? So it's uh, oftentimes referred as to the root component, uh, and in there, presumably, it's your entire application. Right? So this app is the abstraction of your entire application. And then the second argument to this, uh, you know, notice says React DOM dot render takes two arguments: your root, your root application, and then where do you want to render this? Where do you want to map this to? Okay, and it says you know grab uh, the low-level root element in in the index.html which we just saw, and inject all the content that app generates, right? Whatever it does to the DOM, inject it into this root direct uh, root uh, uh, ID. Right in the root element div, make sense? Right. So our task now is basically do, you know, you know, do whatever uh, here, uh, uh, you know, update whatever this app is. 
So this app, these components, these components that you're gonna be building for the next, I don't know, month or so, you're gonna be building components. Components, right, your HTML components are just gonna be functions. Right? They're gonna be JavaScript functions. Okay, that the name of the name of the function will be the name of your brand new component. Right? You don't like the way UL works? Well, you can create your own UL. Right? Function UL and it behaves whatever whatever you say the UL behaves. Right? If you don't like the you know the low level default behavior of UL that HTML declares, well, I'll create your own my UL. Right? And 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 you make it behave any which way you want. Uh, this uh, this uh, app is uh, is very trivial. Um, the only thing that it does is that it does a return, right? So, so whatever this, whatever this app here, whatever this component, whatever this component, uh, whatever, whatever this, whatever this returns, whatever the function that implements that component, whatever it returns, that's what's going to render in the HTML side. So, so app.js is just a function that the thing, the only thing that it's doing, it's doing a return. See that? It returns immediately, and whatever it returns. That's what gets rendered. So there's this this big div here, right? With this H, with this header, with this image, with this paragraph, and this hyperlink, right? This is what gets rendered. Hi everyone, Jose here. Thanks for watching. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Uh, if you're new here, please subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Bye.